So this is a question of CBSE previous year examination 2008. The question asks us to find the angle between A and B when it is given that A plus B plus C is 0 where A, B, C are vectors and the magnitudes are individually also given to you. So it is magnitude of A, magnitude of B and this should be magnitude of C. Let's see how we should be doing it. I write solution and I know one thing that we have been given A vector plus b vector is equal to minus of c vector because if plus c is equal to 0 we can take to the other side. Let's square the magnitudes. So it is a vector plus b vector whole square and here it should be obviously minus minus will get plus so directly I can write whole square. Let's open this you know the property we started that will be a square plus b square plus twice of a b cos theta do not forget it is not 2ab simply and here it is c vector magnitude whole square now what is a square that is 9 plus b square is 25 plus 2ab is 2 into 3 6 into 5 is 30 cos theta here it is 49 so 34 plus 30 cos theta is equal to 49. So 30 cos theta is equal to 15. So cos theta is equal to 1 by 2. Now what is theta? Simply cos 60 is 1 by 2 so pi by 3 and that is the answer because we wanted to find the angle between A and B. So why this question was taken up? It is because it was based on the properties of vector scalar product or vector product of scalar product that we started earlier.